Welcome or welcome back at C squared. In this lesson, we will talk about adding or subtracting polynomial. And for adding and subtracting polynomial, we have to combine what we call like terms. So we're going to see here an ex some example of like terms, like number 2 and 10, are alike. Uh, 3x squared and negative 2x squared, they are alike. They have the same variable, x, the same power 2. It really doesn't matter the number in front, so they are alike. And the last example here is this one. What we notice, we have the same variable, x and y, and variable x has the same power in both expression and y the same thing. It really doesn't matter the number are different. So these are three examples of like terms. And here you have three examples of uh, terms that are not alike. Different variables here, different variables, even though they have the same degree, you cannot combine them. And here, very careful, even though we have the same variable x and y, on this one we have x squared, on this one we have x, on this one we have y, and this one we have y squared. So these are not alike, we cannot combine them. So now let's see an example. And we have here find each sum, and we're going to start with this part A, uh, and we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 7 plus 3 minus 4x squared plus 6x. What you can do here is to drop the parentheses right away because is addition. And then, like I said, look for the like term. So we notice here we have 2x squared, and the term that is alike is this one. So we have 2x squared minus 4x squared, or simply 2 minus 4, if you want to do this math, and that will be negative 2, negative 2x squared. And then we're going to look to the next group of like terms, and this will be this 5x plus 6x, and that will be 11x. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11x, and we have a last group of like terms, negative 7 plus 3, and that will be uh, minus 4. And this is the answer for this problem, uh, A. Let's take a look to B, and on B I'm going to use a different strategy. You don't really need to eliminate those parentheses, and let's see how what I meant. Okay, so I'm looking here, and the largest degree is this y cube, and I notice here and here, and we have this y cube plus 2y cube. That will be 3y cube. Uh, the next one is the y square. If you notice, we have the y square here, 4y square. But well, we're looking in the first part, there is nothing. So we just have plus 4y square. And then we're looking for the next term, which is y only. So we notice we have minus 4y here and 3y here. So we don't forget we have 3y plus negative 4y. 3 plus negative 4. If you need to do this math, do it like this. That will be negative 1, right? So that will be minus y here. That will be negative 1. So that is minus 1 or y or just minus y. And then we have a last group, uh, which is uh, this one, right? Negative 5 plus positive 8. Negative 5 plus positive 8. So that will be nothing else than negative 5 plus 8, and that is positive 3. So the final answer is what you see there, but let me write it one more time, 3y cubed plus 4y squared minus y plus 3 is the final answer. My next example is to show you how to do a difference between two polynomials. So let's take a look to this example A. And we have 4 minus 3x plus 4x squared minus 5. The quantity 5x minus 7 plus 5x squared. If you want to eliminate the parentheses, then you need to be careful. For the first part, for the first polynomial, we keep it. No problem. But 
this is minus, so we're going to distribute the minus, so we're going to have minus 5x, and now be careful, we have minus and minus here, that becomes a plus, plus 7, and then we have minus and plus here, that will be a minus, minus 5x squared. So if you want to eliminate the parentheses, be careful how you do it. And now let's see what we get. We have 4x squared minus 5x squared there. That will be negative x squared or negative 1x squared, but we don't really need that one. And then we have negative 3x minus 5x. That will be negative 8x. And the last two terms that are alike, 4 plus 7 and that will be 11. And that is the answer for this problem. And the last problem in this uh, short lesson about adding and subtracting polynomial, we have another subtraction. And here I'm going to use the same thing like in the previous example. I'm not going to eliminate the parentheses. I'm going to try to do it without that. So let's take a look. Here we have 7y minus negative eight y. So you can put that somewhere here. Let me do that. Seven y minus negative eight y, which in fact means nothing else than seven minus negative eight, which is gonna be seven plus eight. And that will be 15, 15 y. Uh, now let's take a look to the next term. And we have negative 4y cubed only, nothing else. Now I just copy that. And then we have this minus 9, negative 9, minus positive 4, negative 9, minus positive 4, which in fact means negative 9 minus 4, that will be negative 13. So we're going to have here minus 13, but we do have one more term, which is this one, right? And don't forget we have this negative in front, so it's going to be minus 4y squared. So the only thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to rearrange them from the largest degree to the smallest degree. So I'm going to start with the y cube, and it's negative 4y cube, then the y squared, minus 4y squared, then the y, which is 15y, and then the last term will be minus 13, and this is the answer. Uh, if you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.